Well, last week for What's Your Take uh, segment, we shared with you a question that came in via text. And we did edit it quite a little bit for uh, some clarity. But the person was mainly asking this. What is joy and how do we find it even when things are bad? We had some great responses through the week. Our friend Season said, knowing that God can make beautiful things come out of even the darkest days can give at least a glimmer of hope and joy. And while Sarai said that joy is a sense of peace that comes from knowing we are loved, and she quotes Psalm 16, verse 11, which reads, in your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. What a beautiful verse. What a beautiful promise. Well, uh, to our panelists here mm -hmm. today, anything else you want to add to that or any reflection or any of the uh, responses that we've gotten to that question about joy so far? Well, I love the, the verse that says, in God there is fullness of joy. I think that it is in His presence, right, mm -hmm. that we find true joy. Mm -hmm. And I was just thinking of Galatians 5 where in verse 22, it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Mm -hmm. You know, and one of them is joy because it is something that God gives us through His relationship with Him as mm -hmm. a gift. Beautiful. Beautiful. I especially, though, like the second part of the question where it says, you know, how do we find it? Mm -hmm. And um, thinking about that, I'm just thinking, I'm actually thinking of my sister mm -hmm. who has been sick for many, many years. Mm -hmm. And... One of the things that she does, that she taught all of us, is that whenever it's the roughest, mm -hmm. she said she's heard it somewhere that someone does this, she praises God. So she just starts, you know, crying out, mm -hmm. Lord, I praise you for this, I praise you for that. Mm -hmm. And she said that it has made such a big difference in her mm -hmm. life in mm -hmm. just bringing back her joy and peace despite of yes. all of the stuff that's going yes. on. And I've been trying it myself, you know, mm -hmm. because she just inspired me mm -hmm. to do that. And I, I noticed a difference, too. Whenever there's just tough times and I start crying out and praising God, that makes the biggest difference. Amen. Wow. Amen. That's a, pa a pastor friend of mine, he, he said we ought to have a joy box that uh, <laughs> when good things happen to us or when praiseworthy things, you know, write them down because the times when mm -hmm. it is dry spiritually, we can take those out of the joy box. And I like uh, Nehemiah chapter uh, 8, I believe it is. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10. And the Bible says, well, the very last uh, sentence of Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 10, uh, the Bible says, Do not sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is your mm. strength. Mm. And that tells me that our joy is not rooted in my feelings, mm. uh, but it is rooted in God, yes. the joy of the Lord and God's joy uh, for us. Uh, he has joy for us even in sad situations mm. uh, because he said in uh, Hebrews, and just give you this last verse, Hebrews 12 and verse two, uh, he said uh, in Hebrews 12 and verse two, he said, looking unto Jesus, the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, uh, here in this translation, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him, mm. endured the cross, mm. despising mm. the shame. And so God has joy in us. And because of his joy in us, we too can have joy, despite mm. bad situations. Well, that yeah. is powerful. I've, I've learned a lot here and great reminders uh, joy doesn't come from a situation. Mm -hmm. It comes from God and God alone, His presence. And what a beautiful uh, thing to do is to remind ourselves of the goodness we have in God and how He's blessed us. And hopefully that will be a blessing to you as you may go through different things in life, that joy is always present because God is always here. Mm -hmm.